टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ स्टील सो वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी द टाइप्स ऑफ द स्टील और यू कैन से क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द स्टील बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द टाइप्स ऑफ स्टील फर्स्ट यू शुड नो वॉट इज एक्जेक्टली द स्टील सो फंडामेंटली स्टील इज एन एलॉय ऑफ आयरन विथ लो अमाउंट ऑफ कार्बन now let's see the classification of steel so generally the steels are broadly classified in four different category first one is carbon steel second alloy steel third stainless steel and fourth one tool steel now let's see one by one briefly so first carbon steel it contains iron and carbon up to 1.5% as main constituent for alloy steel it contains iron and alloying elements like nickel copper chromium and or aluminum so once again for the carbon steel there are main constituent as iron and carbon and carbon is up to 1.5% only whereas in alloy steel other than iron and carbon alloying elements are there like nickel copper chromium and or aluminum for stainless steel it contains 10 to 20% chromium as their alloying element and are valued for their high corrosion resistance so for the stainless steel the proportion of chromium is 10 to 20% to improve the corrosion resistance next for tool steel it contains tungsten molybdenum cobalt and vanadium to increase heat resistance and durability now let's see one by one all types of the steel in detail so let's start from the first carbon steel there are three types of the carbon steel so first of all see the types of carbon steel low carbon steel next medium carbon steel and third one high carbon steel for low carbon steel it contains carbon in range of 0.15 to 0.30% next for medium carbon steel it contains carbon in range of 0.30 to 0.60% whereas for high carbon steel it contains carbon in range of 0.60 to 1.5% so particularly for the carbon steel the range of carbon is from 0.15 to 1.5% now next see the application of the types of carbon steel and its properties so let's start from the first low carbon steel it is ductile and relatively softer for medium carbon steel it is strong and less ductile high carbon steel has good wear resistance and poor machinability now let's see the application for low carbon steel it is used for the steel structure for building and bridge plates for boilers tubes rivets etc now second one medium carbon steel pressure vessel boiler drum forging shaft hammer etc high carbon steel is used for spring knife drills lathe tools die screw drivers piston rings etc so these are the properties of the carbon steel and these are the application of the corresponding carbon steel now let's see next one alloy steel so these are the figures of the alloy steel here you can see tubes and here it is the balls for the bearings and for that alloy steel is used it may be defined as steel in which elements other than carbon are added in sufficient amounts to improve properties in general alloy steel can give better strength ductility and toughness than carbon steel it is ideal for structural components automotive applications chemical processing pipes here you can see and power generating equipments 
But the main disadvantage of alloy steel is written over here. The disadvantage is, however, are that alloy steels usually have lower machinability, weldability and formability. Now next one, stainless steel. So this is the stainless steel material. It is a family of iron based alloys that contain a minimum of approximately 11% chromium that prevents the iron from rusting that means we can say corrosion and providing heat resistant properties. It is used to make common household items here you can see. It is also used in medical equipment as it is easily sterilized and resistant to corrosion, piping, cutting tools and food processing equipments. It is used to make containers for transportation of chemicals and liquids. Its high strength allows thinner containers saving fuel cost while its corrosion resistance reduce cleaning and maintenance costs. Now next, fourth one, tool steel. Here you can see tools. Tool steels are a family of carbon and alloy steels having distinct characteristics such as hardness, wear resistance, toughness and resistance to softening at elevated temperatures. Tool steels comprise carbide forming elements such as chromium, vanadium, molybdenum and tungsten in different combinations. So particularly for the tool steel, carbide forming elements are added and so that it improves the properties like hardness, wear resistance, toughness and resistance to softening at elevated temperatures. Next, it is used to make excellent cutting and drilling equipments for increasing heat resistance and durability. If you want to see more engineering videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. So thanks my dear friends, press the like button to appreciate this video.